In today's video, we're going to be looking at the latest version of the Sudachi emulator, which lets you play Nintendo Switch games on both Android and PC. I'm also going to show you how to download and install the emulator. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to get it up and running on your devices. But before we dive in, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. It really helps me to create content like this, so please subscribe now. Before we dive into the update, uh, let me quickly introduce the Sudachi emulator. It's actually a fork of the Yuzu emulator, which means it's built off of Yuzu's code, but has been tweaked and optimized to, to work better with the latest Nintendo Switch games. What's great about Sudachi is that it's compatible with both Android and PC, giving you the flexibility to play your favorite Switch titles across multiple devices. If you've been looking for an emulator that's up to date and works smoothly with new releases, Sudachi is definitely worth checking out. Now let's get into the changes in this new update. Here's a quick summary of the most important improvements. One, they've started fixing audio issues in certain games like Echoes of Wisdom, making the sound smoother. This fix is based on Ryujinx's audio code. Two, for Android, they've updated the on-screen button colors to make everything look better. And they've also fixed a bug where some games wouldn't launch from QLaunch. Muff three, on Windows and Linux, you can now install games directly to the NAND, which makes it easier to manage your game library. They've also added partial support for the MyPage profile applet and the data management settings, but some features still need a little work. Number four, they've fixed the issue of duplicate games showing up in directories. And like on an Android, they've solved the problem with some games not booting from QLaunch. Five, lastly, across all platforms, they've removed malicious links and disabled telemetry to make the emulator safer and protect your privacy. If you're ready to download and install the latest version of the Sudachi emulator, just head to the video description where I've included the download link. From there, you can download the emulator for Android, Windows, or Linux, and I'll walk you through the steps to install it. no time. The well of souls must be shut. That's it for the Sudachi emulator update. I hope this quick breakdown helped you out. Remember, the download link is in the description, so grab the latest version and follow the steps I'll show you to get it working on your device. Um, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe to Lutri Luigi's Play, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.